Hello YouTube, welcome back, it's Darren from Cody TV Boxes. This is going to be a very quick video just to show you how to uh, reset an MX3 uh, box. Um, I've got a customer that's uh, recently had one and uh, had a problem with no sound on YouTube and a few different issues. So uh, just wanted to demonstrate this. Now there's two methods of doing this. Uh, first of all I'm going to use the toothpick method. Uh, I'll restore everything and I'll show you how to do it right at the end. I'll show you how to get in another method. Now let me just disconnect this quickly. Uh, in here, I don't know if you can see. Look at it right up close, you might do. Uh, there's a power and then there's an AV. Now you need a toothpick. Now I'll get up close to the mic, just go out, out of screen for a second, and you should hear it click. Don't know if you can hear that. Basically, that's a little micro switch inside. Just clicks when you push it in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop the HDMI in and the power. You don't need uh, the RJ45 internet connection. Um, I'm going to hold that in. Just turn the monitor over. Now you won't need to do this on a TV. Now basically just power the box up. Keep holding the uh, the toothpick in on the micro switch. It takes about 20 to 25 seconds. Now there is an easier method to this. I'm just going to show you this to start off with and right at the end once everything's restored I'm just going to basically show you how, uh, how easy it is to do it the other way. I'm not trying to force you to watch the whole video but it's basically an app that will just uh, put it into recovery mode for you. So we're just going to keep holding that now until uh, it reaches recovery mode which is basically a little uh, Android robot. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Now, I might as well zoom in a little bit on the screen just to, uh, to try and help you here. Okay. Right, first of all, we're going to go down to where it says you can use the remote control. Um, if you can't use the remote control for any reason, just use a mouse, USB mouse or a wireless cordless mouse. Uh, right, you need to go down to where it says wipe datery slash factory reset and click OK. Can you still see? It's just moved slightly. And then we're going to go down to where it says delete all user data. All the rest say no. I don't know if it's too very clear, but if uh, if you follow me with the video, I'm sure you'll be able to read it on the screen yourselves. Uh, click OK to that. And basically, that's wiping all the information off the box itself. It should say formatting data. Now it says formatting cache, and then it says data wipe complete. Now I tend to do this twice. So again, go down to yes, delete all user data, click OK. Okay, that's complete. Now what I tend to do as well is go to wipe cache partition and clear that. Now basically all we're trying to do is make sure it's completely clean. Do that three times. I know it seems rather excessive, but it should do it once really. But I'm told that Android has a tendency of leaving bits behind. So if you do that three times, so basically we've wiped the, um, the factory data, uh, reset twice, and then we've uh, wiped the cache partition three times. And then now we're going to reboot the box. Just by going to reboot box. Now what I will say is, now it's going to take some time to install these apps, so note what the time it is. Oh, oh why, uh, why that's just rebooting, I'm just going to pop the Ethernet cable in. Ethernet cable, just says doing it while it's booting up. Save a little bit of time in the video. There's my little boot logo. going to take a while longer than normal this is because it's doing things in the background that obviously because we reset the box uh, doesn't normally do okay so we're now at the boot up screen we're going to go to click next click next because it's obviously English is already selected provided you don't want uh, a different language uh, now you can adjust that up and down uh, 93 normally works well for the MX3 boxes on this particular monitor or my TVs you might, some people do have 100%, some people have less, so that's uh, TV Pacific. 
So just click next to that. Ethernet connection. Now, just click yes to that. It's asking to verify the apps from uh, Google. Uh, and then click finish. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I tend to use the media box launcher and then go to always. Excuse <coughs> me. Now at this point there you need to note what the time is, 2.22. We're going to sit back now, I'll most probably fast forward this bit. Um, we're going to bring it back when the SPMC sign shows at the bottom here. Well it'll actually show here somewhere. I'm just going to fast forward the video for you, save you sitting waiting. It will take between 5 and 10 minutes I think. OK, welcome back. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the SBMC here, I'm just pointing out to you, um, has appeared now. So what I tend to do is wait about 30 or 40 seconds afterwards. Um, I think the time was 22, so it only took 4 minutes. Uh, it always seems to take a long time when you're waiting. So uh, I anticipated about 10 minutes, but uh, it seems to have installed everything. Now, if we go, you may have seen me during the video actually go in uh, to the app section. Now, you're, you're okay going back into apps and then coming back out, as long as you don't actually open an app up. Now, if you open an app up while it's installing, the rest will stop installing. Now, if you do, you have to go through the process again. So, just be careful, don't bother um, clicking on anything. So, you can go into the apps just to see what's installed and you can come out. Now, certain boxes, you can actually open apps up, go to the bottom, and physically watch them being installed. Now, I've got a feeling this box doesn't do that. Uh, it'll just install them into the background, and then when you come back out and go back in, it'll sort of you'll see them there. Now, as I say, I'm just, uh, just giving it another 30, 40 seconds after SPMC is installed and gone onto the home screen. Now, your home screen might be slightly different than this, uh, depending on when you've had it. Uh, it'd be very similar, but th there's going to be some slight differences. Um, so, okay, that should be plenty long enough. Basically, all I'm doing is just making sure all the apps are installed. So, once you see the SPMC there in the bottom uh, corner, uh, show up on your home, on the desktop as I call it, or your home page uh, of the launcher. Uh, just give it another 30, 40 seconds to a minute. I, I would think that's plenty now. So, we're going to open that up now. Now, the first time you run this, uh, there should be some instructions clear instructions on side are basically what needs to be done uh, oh yes you'll need to grant that permission because obviously we've reset the box now it's just granting it super user permission you'll get a load of uh, grey information coming across the bottom it's basically just giving root permission to the uh, operating system which is Cody in this case now select the updates finished there'll be a couple of updates now as you see it's quite clearly stated on the screen if I pop that a little bit closer hopefully you should be able to read that. So we're just going to clearly follow the instructions on the screen. It says click on the programs. So we're going to go to programs, click OK. Now I won't click OK for a second, but we'll just read what it says. You can actually read it through the screen, but it says uh, now program add ons and then select the Kodi TV box wizard. So we're going to programs like it says. We'll go down to program add ons like it says. I don't know if you can still read that through the screen. But you can actually read it when you're up close to it. Uh, go to Kodi TV boxes wizard. And you're going to come down to a particular model. Now, all boxes now are supplied with SPMC. Um, now, unless you've got uh, an MXQ box, it's all done through there, basically. So, uh, the only time you, you'll do this is if you're doing a restore and you're using the MXQ. But any updates, uh, obviously you can see on there, it says it was updated on the 27th of the 4th. Uh, yesterday, I think I did it. Um, so, you just click on there. Now, this is going to take, again, a few minutes. It's... Uh, Depends on your internet uh, speed, really. Uh, this is 14.29. Now, what I'll do is I'll fast forward this section um, again until um, it's installed, and then uh, I'll come back to you.
Okay, welcome back. Um, very slow my internet appears to be today. Uh, I must apologise for that. And it's not the upload speed. It's uh, uh, it's drawing from a different server. There actually files are located elsewhere from where I'm, I am at the moment. Uh, you may have seen the screen go dark a couple of times. Uh, all that's doing is just dimming the screen. Uh, it's a setting within XBMC or Kodi, as the case may be. Um, now it's just extracting uh, the wizard now. Now basically all this is going to do is put all your backup, or well the latest backup which was done yesterday, on uh, back onto the machine. So we'll just let it finish extracting and then we're going to follow the instructions on the screen which basically just says uh, just pull the power out at the end of it really. I just want to check uh, the problem as well. I've just spoken to a lady via text. Uh, there you go, screen's just dimmed again. Uh, it just says that Ice Films isn't working, so we'll try it at my end. It may be that the fact that uh, ISP is blocking it, although we have got uh, a bypass in to try and get around that. Um, but it could be the fact they've actually blocked that as well. But if it works here uh, and it's not working at uh, her end, it must, uh, must be her ISP blocking that particular uh, link. We'll have to look at doing something else. We'll test that while we're on here now. The file is quite large, it's about 600 and something megabytes. So you can appreciate it does take a while, uh, even with my internet speed. Uh, as I say, it isn't very good in here. It, it's really strange because uh, it um, downloads a lot quicker elsewhere. Like the switch in this office must be old or something or causing a problem because it always seems to take longer in here. Okay, uh, basically you can press OK but you no need to. All you need to do is literally just pull the power out. So we'll do that. So uh, we'll plug it back in and then we're going to power the box back up. Now that really should be it, that should be everything restored now. Okay, we're all back up now. What I, what I did say at the beginning of the video, there was two ways to get it into uh, recovery mode. Now, this is uh, the second method, which is the easiest method, which I should have really most probably pointed out right at the beginning. Um, you literally would go to here, which is the uh, the power button, uh, reboot into recovery. Now, I'm not going to do it uh, because it will actually reboot in recovery, and I don't want the video to take long. It's gone on long enough. Um, you would click on that, and it asks you, do you want to confirm this process? You would click yes. Uh, no need for a toothpick. Uh, it may actually just give you one more command, which is um, asking you to grant super user permission. Just grant that yes, you only have to do it once. If you've never used this button before, you may have to grant it. Other than that, it will just boot straight into recovery mode with a little robot, right like it was right at the beginning. Uh, and you can just do it without the toothpick method. Saves you looking uh, for a toothpick and having to push it into the machine itself. Now, I'm going to go back into SBMC just quickly. This is now. This is just going to be to have a look to see if Ice Film's failing. If it is, I'll look at uh, curing that out and pushing another update shortly. This is just really for the lady that's got the problem at the moment. Okay, everything's back up now. So let's just go into Ice Films. Just some updates in the background.
first link was dead, second link was dead. Let's try another movie. is quite correct in what she's saying or he's saying, I don't know, I keep saying she but uh, it may be a gentleman just uh, bought it in his wife's PayPal account or whatever now there's a problem with um, ice films themselves this must be uh, what I will say is I'll look into it and uh, I'll sort it out and uh, if it's something obviously at my end I will uh, push a, a new update out this afternoon um, I suspect it will be their end. I'll go and try it um, on a different box and I'll also try on my PC then I'll start uh, having a look in some of the forums what's going on. I'm going to leave it there and uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully it's been of some use to you and uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.